I have this out, and you know what that means, another unboxing. This one's going to be a little different, I bet you can't even guess what it is. I have been doing some bushcraft recently, and I decided that I needed to upgrade my tools. So, Lee Valley to the rescue! Have you guessed? It was in the description, of course you guessed. So, I should not be left with my credit card alone late at night. Oops, oh goodness. I also should look where I'm cutting. <laughs> this is light. I have a finger on either side, so I find that really confusing because I expect it to be heavy. And here it is. Oh my goodness. It is so beautiful. Look at that. Let's get, it comes with a book. Have you ever bought an axe that comes with a book? I think that's how you know it's like quality. <laughs> and also, I guess I have some reading to do. All right. So it has a lovely hole for a lanyard. Really like this. Um, I think it means I can hang it up too. This is light. I don't even know what the pound, what the weight is on it. I should have looked. Um, it has a handcrafted, I think this is handcrafted. The ax head is handcrafted. Uh, do you see that? That is the initials of the person who made it. So CS, CS made this just for me. And snap it and take a look and see how good how good they did. So this is the small forest axe by Gransford. Oh, look at that! That's a beauty. You know, I'm not gonna get fatigued like I was. I'll be honest. I was using a a dollar store. I know I have to stop going there, right? I was using an axe from the dollar store, which sounds a little ridiculous. Look at the thin profile on that. Um, but it was, it was ridiculous. It didn't work very good at all. So this is my solution. Um, this is the kind of ax that you hand down to your family. You put it in your will. It is quality. I know you can't, uh, can't hear that anyway. So there's the, uh, the top profile. And the side profile showed you that. Let's see if we can get back a little bit. Um, you would expect it to be really heavy for this, honestly, this length, but uh, it is going to do some chopping. So along with that, I got some, um, I had another one. You know, I, my camera, I keep looking at the wrong end, so my eyes look weird to you sometimes, and I hope to someday learn where to look. So this is carving tools. So I figured if I had the axe, then I also need the carving tools so that I can, you know, I thought this was going to be two. Hmm. All right, we'll work with it. <laughs> it's one more than I had yesterday. So yes, so I get some carving tools, so I'm going to make some spoons, and maybe once I figure out how to do that properly, I will I'll show y'all. This, uh, this is going to be just Jim Dandy, and even though I, for some reason, thought I was going to get two of these, I am not disappointed. I can use shallow and deep, so it's going to be pretty versatile, so I'll do a follow-up video, and uh show you guys what I make. So cheers, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, and that would be really nice if you did that. Have a great day, bye.